I didn't think you'd actually be here. If here, I thought you'd never show. I'm like intermission. If the show's long enough, I'll be there. Intermissions are good for taking a piss, detective. You came here regarding the heist of the house crime, so let's not waste my time on meeting someone. Who? Someone who enjoys keeping me warm. So tell me then, miss. Miss. It's Ms. Corral. I just figured that, your friend. You must be the kind of guy who thinks a woman can enjoy a good piece of masculine art in the sheer extravagance of it. What do you enjoy, detective? Quiet dinner with the wife? <laughs> I am like you. I would have picked a better tie. So where were you the day of the break-in? Shopping. So then tell me how you did it. <laughs> wow. I'm just tripped up by your zinger. I'm about to fall over and confess. <laughs> really? What makes you think I stole that old man's diamond? <laughs> because your rap shit reads like a playbook on how to get caught. Haven't you ever done anything, detective, just to get caught? I always return the glass. I never really cared for him anyway. Just like the game. And now, 2010, 44 carats, Hollywood, California. Was it me? Is that so? Yeah, not my style. Styles change, people don't. Stealing is about grace. Charm. You walk into a department store, you turn the class on, and you play the part. I never had a crew or wanted one. I always fancied myself better than that. Seeing as blowtorches and guns don't really turn me over. But the gem is your style, your cut. Oh, I admit it would have been easy to steal it. How's that? Men are easy, detective. House is easy. So are you admitting the fact that you did steal the diamond? I admit only that I fancy you for a by-the-book kind of man. One who's done everything a man is supposed to do. Then you sit down at your dinner table with your kids and your boring wife. And you just live out your days. Each one shorter than the last. Each one harder than before. And you wonder to yourself, Brussels sprouts again? Brussels sprouts? Right before you beg permission to go hang out with the fellas. I always say you'd be better off begging for forgiveness, but then again, you're not married. Nice piece. I thought guns didn't turn you over. <laughs> Small ones. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think happened. I don't think you're even downtown. I know that you've stolen more than you've been caught for. So the story about the kind thief you are, that's a load of bull. You're wealthy. You took those resources and you used them to pay off witnesses, hire doubles. I don't know, but you did it. I know you were there. Butterflies in your stomach, just waiting for that safe to swing open relieving you of that thrill, coming to some kind of strange catharsis, knowing all the hard work and people's lives you trampled on to get there. But when the safe swung open, you didn't only find the diamond. What you found is the same thing you found every time you did the deed. Nothing. One big, huge emptiness is what you found. No piece of glass is big enough to fill the hole inside of you, but that's nothing. Tell me something, detective. <laughs> you wouldn't want this diamond off yourself now, would you? Being in such debt and all? What? Ah, uh, did you think I was just going to invite you into my house without knowing more? I get it. The wife, the kids. You want to know? Where is the diamond? I hear it's worth a lot of money. Where is the diamond? Why are you here, detective? I agreed to help the department in exchange to be left alone. You found nothing. You investigated me. I'm clean. You and I both know you're lying. <laughs> I like you, detective. You're simple. You see a world divided by bright lines. I see the good and the bad. See? So, detective, what am I? I don't know. Tell me why you're here, detective, and I'll give you what you want. A knife? Are you joking? I thought it was a nice touch. Lady, your touch is a sledgehammer. Honey, you haven't seen nothing yet. I'll pop up the diamond and I won't erase.
arrest you. Prison? <laughs> At least I'd be surrounded by real men. Give me the diamond. Cuff me. You wish. Give me the diamond. I don't have it. I need the diamond. I lost Tell it. Tell me where it is. Go fish. Give me the fucking diamond! Better baby than tell me what you really want. To know. I would. Who is it? I thought we were alone. No, really, stop it, Rebecca. This is making me feel very uncomfortable. Really? Well, maybe you should go then. Just leave. I think I've gone a little far for that. Just don't let them in. Jeez, honey, calm down. Look, I know you're new at this, but I promise you're gonna love it. I don't know, Rebecca. No. Trust me. Are you Mrs. Carruthers? Yes. Please, come in. Look, I just want to be upfront about this. Mr. Brooks runs a tight ship, and I was told the last half of my fee would be provided before service. Some sort of confusion about price? What was it again? 3,500. For the full experience. Please tell Mr. Brooks that I'm very sorry. No problem. You used to be one of his best customers. Looks like you found a keeper. Is this for me? Happy birthday. I would have been happy with an Xbox, honey. I wanted to do something special for you. you're the best. Do you want to stop? I'm sorry if it was too much. Relax, detective. I'm like money. Only too much is enough. Are you ready, honey? <laughs> Just give me a second. <laughs> Who the hell is she? And what the hell is going on, Miss Carell? You said you want to know where the diamond was. Well, maybe you bit off just a little bit more than you could chew. Maybe having to deal with us makes you nervous. Not likely. It's a rocky road, detective. The Halsey diamond isn't easy. It's treacherous. Looks like I'm in for a rough ride then. Well, wherever we're going, I think this will help us find our way. Rebecca. It's Ms. Carell. 